Welcome to Narrow Boat of Jones Bill. Hope you're well, thanks for joining me. Well, today is Saturday and I think the weather's gonna be a bit hit and miss today, so there's plenty of jobs to crack on with inside the boat. Um, I need to, or really wanna get my uh, toilet fan and basically kind of get the toilet set up and installed. There's only really one thing to do on that and that's to get the fan done. Uh, I wanna get the shower sorted out. Uh, I need to put in my skin fitting on the for the water tank um and put the pipe in for that so i can fill the water tank up properly um so it's kind of just loads of kind of odd and sod jobs really to get sorted um the pipe work for the back of the toilet's a bit of a, a tricky one i've got like a million bits of pipe now to uh, kind of hopefully fix it all but i do need to go to the chandlers today uh, so it's bright and early at the moment so i'm gonna head off there now so uh, catch you later. And as if coming to the Chandlery isn't attempting enough place already to spend your money, they've now got a really, really nice coffee place right here next to the canal. It's beautiful. Got myself a flat white. Bang on. The guy's name's George. He's lovely. Check it out. So I've come back from the Chandlery. And I have got a few bits to crack on with for the weekend. So uh, a lot of it is going to be the electrics cupboard. So I've got a grill to go in the floor. Uh, so I'm going to put one at the top up here and obviously one at the floor. Um, there is a, um, someone mentioned basically the heat shrink on the, on the back of the charger is pretty massive. So it needs a lot of ventilation. So it's in quite a big, enclosure it's not like a small space it's got in there quite a big area but i'm gonna put one of these in the floor no that one's the one that goes in the floor and this is the one that goes in the top so just kind of circulate some air around there keep it nice and cool i've got a couple of switches for the bathroom um what else have i got got some jubilee clips for the uh, water hose and I also got this. I was gonna do without this and just basically do fuses and individual switches, but I thought life's too short. So I've gone for a standard one of those. Um, circuit breaker, basically, this is a 10 circuit, 10, you know, 10 switch circuit breaker. So the only thing I won't be able to do from here is I'll be able to, well, I'll be able to power up the bathroom um, and, uh, but the, there'll still be a, an individual inline fuse for the whale gulper and the uh, water pump but everything else will basically run off this so that'll be the plan put that in i'm not sure where the switches are going to be mounted on this whether they're going to be on the side panel here which might look a bit busy because there's other stuff there or whether i mount them on the top like that which is what i think i'll probably do mount them there because it'd be nice and easy for the cables to go up there so, but I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna have to do away with that extra buzz bar. So I'll have a look, a look at it all. So yeah, that's to crack on with. I've got some stuff to do for the toilet. Um, my toilet fan, uh, I'll explain to you when I go into the bathroom, um, but I've had to buy a few bits to make that work. Uh, what else have I got to do? And I'd like to build the thing around the toilet as well, kind of finish that, and then, oh, the shower. Right, I'm taking a break from cleaning down the shower, um, and I'm gonna attach the toilet connector on. So this goes onto the back, this clips onto the back of the toilet, basically, and it is at this height here. Um, this is the skin fitting for the toilet, um, obviously it's air so there's no water or anything so it doesn't matter you know it doesn't matter if it's a bit of a kink to it or if it's a bit of a bend but that goes on there kind of pretty firmly but then the problem is if this was to come down to that level there and then into this fitting there's no kind of decent way for that to fit into there. So what I've done is I've got a an adapter for that to clamp onto there and then this bit to clamp onto there. But then 
because of the angle of it, there's too much of a kink in there. That's got to kind of go in at 90 degrees. Um, and the only way of that working is for the toilet to be kind of sticking out this far, which is way too far. So the only way I'm going to be able to get around this is by putting on a different type of bracket onto here, which basically comes up at a right angle. And then I just put the pipe straight onto there. So I've had a look around and I've managed to find something which I'm gonna to have to adapt to fit into this. Right, so this is the piece I bought. So that can clip into there. And then I'll cut that bit off. I'll trim it off to about there and I'm gonna get the pipe onto it nice and easily. The only thing is, this is only going in that far. So what I'd like to do is cut off that ridge don't know how and then so it can go in further then I can put a G bleed clip around there and keep it in nice and secure that goes into there nicely but what I'm going to need to do I'll get rid of this thing first obviously I'll use the multi-tool for this also really like that to go in a bit further it's only kind of going in up to that point it won't go any higher over that lip so I'm going to just trim that off on all the way to the end which is what I'm going to need and then obviously I'm going to want to trim it kind of around there I guess or maybe vertically actually maybe even around there okay so that looks like it's going to be a much more comfortable fit. So this is the setup now for the back of the toilet. So I've got the fan here, obviously positioned the right way, so it's blowing out up this chunky pipe here to a 90 degree bend there. And then the other same chunky pipe there, and then a reducer in there, and then onto the skin fitting. There's no water in this, I will remind you. So it's only air, so it's fine. But I might see if I can uh, either get a bigger skin fitting or a better reducer. What I'd ideally like is a 90 degree reducer. Okay, so now I need to set up the fan for the toilet. So I'm just doing this temporarily with just those clippers onto there. So I'll obviously change that. And at the moment, I'm still using the switch that comes with the toilet. But then if I position you down there and then turn the switch on, you'll see the fans going. And if we're very quiet, you might be able to hear it. Obviously I'll put the switch which will be on the top of this bit here along with the switch for the whale gulper and the water pump. This is in place. I'm going to look to change this. Um, I mean it's fine. It's all airtight. Ish. So it works. And it's all going to be hidden. It's just that it's a little bit clunky. Well, as I said, it's all going to be hidden. And if I was to make it slightly less clunky, then the toilet could shift back a little bit, 
although I don't want it to shift back too much because the lid of the toilet needs to obviously come up and rest. So it's about right. It might shift back an inch or something maybe, but it gives me plenty of clearance coming out of the shower, wash hand basin here, plenty of clearance. So it's fine as it is. I now need to put the filler cap onto here. So I'm gonna drill and tap the holes. But first off, I just need to, don't know if you can see the insulation through there on the underside of this. Okay, I can now put that in place and drill out the holes. Before I put this in place, I'm just going to put a bead of silicon around it. each of the holes so it pushes it through Okay, so they've all been screwed in place and bolted on the other side. Right, I've adjusted this now to length. This is the uh, hose coming from the water filler up outside. I put a Jubilee clip on it. to go on the end of that bit there. Measure it out. That's not very easy. I'll go a bit bigger. the kettle to get some uh, water to make this end more malleable and also the other end which is going on the skin fitting for the tank. Pretty 
tidy up. Okay, so let's see if this works without spilling my boiling water everywhere. Oh shit! Fucking hell. Oh. in and I've got to do the same on the tank side Easy. There's a little bracket to hold that up there. Right, let's just tighten that one up. Tube's coming down with a Jubilee clip on it into the uh, front there of the bow and then into the skin fitting on the tank. Well, it's been a good day today at the uh, at the boat. Had to go to the Chandri, got that done nice and early, so that was good, and pretty much stuck to the list that I had. Um, had to go to loads of places today and get various bits and pieces I needed, so um, kind of a bit of rushing around was done. Um, but yeah, it's been a nice day here at the wharf, quite quiet. Um, actually, Ollie over there, who's got um, the narrow boat, um, his mate Tim was over helping him out, and. Um, I think he watches his channel, so he came over and saw the boat in, in the flesh, as it were. So uh, that was uh, nice to see him. Um, and he showed me his uh, Tesla. Um, and I don't want to sound like some kind of caveman, but I've never been in a Tesla before. I mean, wow, what an amazing bit of kit that is. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, yeah, it's good. And kind of completed two tasks which I needed to get done so obviously that's done that's in it's finished um yeah the water system's kind of well pretty much done now um obviously I need to fit it to the wash hand basin and the shower which I haven't done um I haven't got a wash hand basin yet so that was one of the things I went to have a look at today but I didn't get the right one it needs to be quite small um toilets installed um apart from giving it a nice clean and um putting in the compost material uh, that's good to go so um, yeah that's fine um, and started work on the electrics cupboard got more to do on there um, and working out where the switches go and stuff like that so I'm just kind of planning that out it needs to be nice and neat and tidy and well organized um, and I've started scraping back the shower man that is just taking forever uh, I'm livid with myself um, it's taking about 15 minutes per line and I think there's about 30 lines I need to do um, I'm doing it with a teaspoon um, because uh, well 
I, I've tried loads of things. Uh, it doesn't scratch the glass before you all start screaming about it. Um, it just was better than anything else. So, but yeah, quite laborious. So I'm just um, something to do tonight. The other thing I'm going to do tonight is um, various colours around this area need to be done. So um, yeah, the T bar, the backs of all this need to be done more cream so there's loads this needs to be kind of trimmed out and smartened up so i'm going to spend a few hours here i reckon tonight um and luckily the sound system works quite nicely i can hear it perfectly well from here um get a nice kind of sense of bass through it so um yeah it's lovely happy days hope you're all very well enjoy your saturday enjoy the olympics see you tomorrow bye bye